that was just a place to be. That was, yeah. That was the pinnacle. Yeah. The atmosphere was quite amazing, they say. Very good atmosphere there, yes. So narrow for sprint cars. I mean, how was it to pass? You just get on the fence and go around. <laughs> you make it sound so simple, Steve. Uh, when Steve came in, he was a phenomenal talent. Very, very raw, much like his uh, younger brother Gary would go on to be. How do you rate Steve-O when he was killed at, at the point in his life when he was racing then? How would you put him in the national scene right now? Would he be top three, top four, top five? He could be a proud dad. He'd be in the top five now, no risk, no risk at all. What would his attributes as a driver? He'd love to work on the race car. Yeah. Now, what, what did he say to you um, about his when he got to 21? He hadn't made it by the time he was 21, he was going to quit and help, help Gary. Yeah. It's amazing that he would be thinking that far ahead. That's very selfless. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and what did he achieve in the short time? How many? Tonga Truck leaves the racetrack. MK Nationals heat number two. Starts on pole. Pankhurst on his outside by the look of it. Fire service is nice bringing his heat number two. Diamond Pankhurst front row. Oh, someone free ripped. Going into one. Give the race lead for Kime down the back straight. Pankhurst back there in second. Leave Jeff White in the other end, sitting down the third spot. He's going to 